You'll have to excuse my hair. I just got out of the shower. So. <sighs> Hello, my name is Kat and welcome to my gardening channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to grow your own food starting from seeds. A lot of people like to go and buy already started plants from nurseries and places like Lowe's or Home Depot, and that is 100% cool. There is just something so satisfying about starting something from a seed and watching it grow, harvest it, and feed it to your family. It's just... This video is just gonna go over the very basics of how to plant a seed in a container so that you can then transplant it into your garden. So you're gonna need some very basic things. One, you need seeds. I recommend that you plant things that you and your family are going to eat. There is no sense in wasting your money on planting a rutabaga if you and your family don't like rutabagas. Plant things that you will enjoy eating. You will need soil. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using a seed starting mix. You will also need a container to put your soil and seeds in, water, and light. When it comes to seeds, there are so many options available to you. Whether you want to plant something that is organic, or an heirloom, or just a generic type of seed packet that you can buy at Walmart. If this is your first time planting, don't let all of that overwhelm you. Just start. One of the easiest seeds to start with is a lettuce seed. Growing your own salad is really cool. And vegetables like salad are relatively quick growing and easy to tend to. When it comes to your soil, you'll wanna look for a seed starting mix. This is something that is a very light and fluffy material there are no sticks in it, there's no stones in it, and it's also sterile, so you're not going to be introducing any fungus or any diseases to your seeds. You can use pretty much anything for a container. You can use solo cups, you can use eggshells, you can use seed starting trays. You really are only limited to your imagination. When it comes to watering your seeds, you want to make sure that you keep the soil moist, but not wet. If your soil stays too wet, it can actually cause the seeds to mold and then you're not going to be able to grow anything. And then one of the most important things that you need is light. You can use a grow light, you can use a windowsill, a really sunny windowsill. South facing windowsills are the best because they get the most sunlight. When your seeds sprout, if they're not getting enough sunlight, they're going to wind up becoming leggy, which means they are reaching so hard for that sunlight that their stems become weak. Those are just some of the very basic things that you need. So now it is time to head to the store and get your supplies. I found these seed starting trays at Walmart for less than $5, as well as this seed starting mix. When I got home, I just grabbed a plain old bucket and emptied some of the seed starting mix in there. I gave that a good soak and made sure to really incorporate all of the water and soil with my hands. Next, I am going to do something called a squeeze test. I'm going to squeeze some of the dirt in my hand. If it keeps its shape, but then crumbles easily, I know that it is wet enough. Next, I'm going to start filling up my seed tray. I am just very gently putting this soil in here. I'm not packing it down. Give it a little tap so everything settles. And you can see here that the soil is not compacted. It's just very lightly in there. I found these plant stakes at the dollar store. They come in a pack of 10. I'm just gonna cut off these square tops so that the stakes actually fit in my seed tray when I put the top on. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to label all of these with each of the seeds that I have decided to put in this specific tray. Once that is done, I'm going to look at the back of each seed packet and I can see exactly how deep I need to plant each seed. Use whatever you like to make a little hole. I just use my finger, it's the easiest thing. In this particular column, I am planting peas. So I'm only gonna be dropping one pea seed into each cell and then gently cover it back up with dirt. Next up is broccoli. I'm just very gently disrupting the soil because these need to be planted more shallow. And I'm actually dropping two to three seeds in each cell. Sometimes seeds don't sprout, so I want to make sure that I've got plenty that are going to sprout. And then the strongest ones I'm going to keep and the other ones I'm just going to cut. I'm gonna put it right in here. Come a little closer. There you go, right in here. Right in that hole. Good job. Now we're gonna cover it up. We should do something about it. Good job. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Next up is watering the seeds. I am very gently dripping some water on the top of each cell. There is actually a tray underneath this that I have filled with about an inch and a half of water, which allows the soil to soak from the bottom up. I pop the clear top on to create a greenhouse effect and we are ready to sit under the grow lights. Here I have a full spectrum grow light bulb that my sister actually gave me. I will link it down in the description below. Full spectrum light actually helps every single stage of plant growth. I am screwing this into just a random lamp that we had laying around the house that we weren't using. And now I'm just going to set my tray up underneath the grow light. An alternative to grow lights is placing it on a sunny windowsill. Here I'm showing you a heating pad. It's not recommended to use a heating pad that you would use for yourself, but I'm a rebel. Heating pads aren't necessary, but they do help with raising the temperature of the soil to help with germination. Editing cat here. So I just wanted to say that I am not a master gardener by any means. I am still learning. There are plenty of things that I still have to ask for advice on or look up on the internet. So I'm just here to say, it's okay to be a perpetual learner. You don't have to know everything. And gardening is actually pretty forgiving. So please don't feel like you have to wait until you know everything. Just start. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video. You never know who might want to become a gardener, but they just don't know where to start. Make sure to check back in with me. I'll be taking you guys all along my gardening journey for this season. I'll be showing you how to transplant, things like soil amendments, how to compost. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions on what you'd like to see from me, make sure to drop it down in the comments below. Again, thank you for watching and now back to the original video.